but we've not spent any significant time up here. It, it we've not seen anybody on this road. Um, it is a road that requires four-wheel drive to get up and down into. We're just a few miles in right now. Um, doing some research on the area. There's been a few people gone missing up here. Campers, uh, fishermen. Recently, there was a story that came out on the news that there was a guy that the police were seeking about 70 miles away. Um, he was a child molester and he came up into this area and was like hiding out up in the woods up here. And they were trying to track him down up here and he went missing up here. It's very weird. Uh, and this is a very, very remote area. So we, uh, we're just gonna keep climbing this mountain here and uh, find us a nice little spot to stop. Now back through here, it's just a network of old forestry roads and some old logging roads. Um, luckily I've got my off-road chauffeur. we get back in here the less maintained these roads get um, it is getting rough back in here we found a potential spot to set up for the night we're pressing forward a little bit deeper just to see if we find somewhere a little bit better but it looks like it's getting it's rough back here roads are rough. We're getting hit by pretty heavy rain. Whoa. These, yeah, no shit. It looks brighter on the camera. Um, it is dark back through here already. It's about 6.30. been on these roads for a couple of hours we have not seen anyone we're headed towards a spot to set up for tonight uh, it's gonna be a cold camp but we're not getting a fire started and all this but we can definitively say that we were the only people for miles up here would you say right yeah and I think that's gonna really it's really going to cut down on the contamination of if we get anything at all. I mean, it, it, we're in the middle of a storm up here too, so, um, so we know that it's not going to be, anything is not going to be contaminated by any other people because we are 
I mean, we are miles away from any sort of civilization or people. We've not seen people driving up here. We've not passed anybody. Thank God. Um, so, uh, yeah, because it is a one lane road. Roads widen up a little bit and the rain's stopping. So. All right, so I think this is going to work. We uh, got the car sort of off this road here and uh, we are way back here. So we found a little flat area down here where we are going to set up camp for the night. We still had a little rain coming down, but it's not too bad. And uh, this is where we're gonna spend the night. And we are way back here, so this is pretty cool. because it is pouring rain. We got camp set up um, in the rain and we checked two different stations for weather and everything and we did not have anything like this. It was supposed to come through and the storms came through and just soaked us. So right now we're uh, in the car trying to cool off and dry off and see if uh, this rain's gonna let There's up. nobody up through here, I mean. We drove, what, 12 miles back in? Yeah. And that's not even off the main road. We're probably 20 miles off from like the nearest paved road at this point. Um, we've seen, we saw one person down near the beginning of this network of old forest and logging roads. There's nobody up here. Um, this weather came out of nowhere on us. Which if you read Missing 411, it's always a bad sign. So yeah, we're in for a dark, also to add in rain brings a lot of noise in so you hear a lot of the rain falling and everything like that but if anything's moving around you it can sometimes get lost in just the sound of the, the rain coming down so I don't know we're gonna go see what happens it's definitely dark and creepy up here and there's a fog coming in a really really thick fog yeah, so. Anyway. All right, we're going to sit here. And again, this is the area where people have gone missing. Right. One of those missing people might be a child molester on the run. Or hell, he might be in the woods. I, although I don't think a child molester is coming after us, so that's good. I don't know. <laughs> Shake this beard off. But, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we're going to sit in the car and um, bitch at each other for a little bit about this. Why we decided to do this and to take up a different hobby. So. I, I think we're going to take up golf next time, yeah. but we'll see. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we're going to wait out this rain a little bit and then uh, hopefully see you back at camp. And we'll try one of these. So, it was a downpour last night and uh, it's finally stopped this morning and uh, the temperatures dropped so it's actually kind of nice out here and uh, I am making some coffee right now on the back of the truck. You like that? Cool. Well, that's always good to see. Yep. It's got like a bite down on it. Yeah. 
Wait, there's a bite down on the emergency whistle? Yeah. Oh yeah, somebody bit the emergency whistle. Okay. Somebody has bit into an emergency whistle. Somebody bit the hell out of it. You can see the tooth marks on it. All right. All right. That's uh. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I mean, nothing else other than a an emergency whistle that looks like when they put it in their mouth to blow, somebody bit the hell out of it. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> that is weird as hell. I'm going to leave it right here. And other than that, <laughs> I'm sorry to be, that's just weird, isn't it? An emergency whistle that is bit down as hard as somebody can bite. What, like somebody put it in their mouth and then yeah. went to blow on it and instead got got? And, uh, yeah. yeah, there's just like a whole little network. Huh. All right, well, somebody was down here once upon a time. It's an old trash can lid balanced on three rocks. Ground's pretty soft, but I'm not really leaving an indentation. With this pack on, I'm about 265, 270. So if we see anything, it's gonna be something that weighed considerably more than I did. This is just a maze back here. These little paths just crisscross all the way back through here. There's a nice little area where you can get in and get some water. <clears throat> so far, we're in this low-lying area where there is a network of game trails that we can see. Um, we found that emergency whistle that was bitten into, which is kind of interesting. Um, we have a little creek over here. No other, like, real sign of human through here, so... Other than a very old trash can lid that was put on top of three rocks, I guess, to form some sort of rudimentary cooking spot. We're going to actually hike back up and grab that emergency whistle and put it in a sample bag and take it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So just in case. Do you want to go ahead and grab that? Let's do that right now. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go see. ahead and grab that emergency whistle just because A, you don't want to leave something like that in the woods. B, there's been people that have gone missing. Up people here. have gone missing up here. This could be something nefarious. We don't know. It could just be an emergency whistle that fell out of somebody's pocket after they bit it almost in half. Um, could be something that happened. really bad to somebody so uh we're gonna go ahead and grab that toss that into a uh, sample bag um pretty much touch it very very minimally just enough to grab it and throw it in a bag um because you don't want to leave anything like that behind so we're gonna grab that and then we're gonna carry on with uh sweeping the area All right, Let's so and see what else we got. we're going to keep on uh, sweeping this area and uh, see if we find any other evidence of anything. We, don't, we have no idea what's out here or what's going on out here. Um, the missing persons is a little 
concerning. Um, the amount of missing persons reports in this area. So we're going to try to keep close to each other. Because Helbert Holler is a team, first and foremost. And if we lose one of us, we've lost all of us. Right, Joe? Sure thing. Is that a handprint? There is something really fucking sinister out here.